This is a review of The Power of Less, The Fine Art of Limiting Yourself to the Essential in Business and in Life by Leo Babawata. Now we have to relate to Leo. He's probably super chilling on the island of Guam with coconut trees and crabs on the island. Much in contrast to Thoreau, a simple cabin in the woods. And here's one of Thoreau's quotes. Our life is frittered away by detail. Simplify, simplify, simplify. Now Leo Babawata, I categorize him in the minimalism movement. He's got six kids, in contrast to that statement I just said. He has a good blog called Zen Habits, links down below as always. And here are some basic concepts that you can learn from the book. Flow, having less stress, being wasteful, to focus on the important things. Simplicity, Buddhism, Zen, calmness, Satori, relaxation, meditation, even ASMR. Enjoying the essentials and eliminating the rest. And there's a dichotomy in the world, whether it's black and white or this or that. And for surviving any human situation, more is better, more status, more ownership. The bigger ego, the bigger the better. However, we're all into fight club and not letting materialism own us. You got to find a way to break the chains. Less is powerful. No fast food. Cheap fruits and vegetables, setting limitations, haikus, long term and doing the time. Start small. Just start me up like the Rolling Stones. Examining the tips that Leo provides, examine the task list. Start with your goals. Put limitations. Send messages only twice a day. Say no. Respect time for what it is and for time's sake. And first work on the most important task. Keep it simple and declutter. And in terms of messages, he wrote this book when email was a huge issue. And nowadays it's about being crazy and being notified with all these notifications. Just turn them off. Now here are the, some tactics you can do. You could batch work, email or group tasks together, small batches. Many groups in a big army, as an example. Use a notebook or Evernote. Check email just twice a day. Create time for what's important. Declutter your workspace. Something that you're always in. You want to keep it clean. And on motivation, commit publicly. Let other people know that you're doing this so they can hold you accountable. But you're more often going to hold yourself more accountable. Just start. Reward yourself. And visualization is key. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. And since our time is limited, space and time is as well. There could be just too much around you. And you don't want to be a square and live within limits, but these limits can help you gain control. By simplifying, focusing on you, on what's important, it helps you achieve. And by compressing this time, it shows others that your time is important. You're being more effective. You can limit the projects, you can limit subscriptions or blogs you read, as well as time on reading on the internet versus, say, books. You can also analyze your usage. Do some tests to figure out what's worked for you and continue to adjust of this less lifestyle and make it a habit. Leo puts forward what is essential, values, love, goals. What is important to you? The, what will have the biggest impact, the long-term impact, not the quick fix needs versus wants. Eliminate the non-essential and continue the editing process. You can also focus on the present as well as this Zen type vibe that he has. Let a easy flow and positivity run through. And lastly, you could take deep breath breaks and nature walks. Go outside. And now here are some of my tips that will contrast with Leo's. No fast food. Change up your good workouts. Test and see what works for you. Do nature walks. Simplify. Don't have too many projects. Keep it simple. Just do one or two a day until you build on that. And get rid of distractions. Especially nowadays, marketers in 2020 are trying to influence you. They're clickbaiting you with easy pleasures. Read. Live the simple life. And to end this off, don't be a simple simp. We keep it simple. A bit natural. You can be super chilling with less. Elvis Presley once said, A little less conversation, a little more action, please. Sometimes less is more. Think about it. Freedom and you can achieve that. 
This is a great easy book to read every now and then. Even listen to this video when you're stressed and need a time out to chill. Recommend it.